it was just overwhelming. I, um, I remember waking up that first morning and looking up and seeing the chandelier 14 feet above in the ceiling and being so surprised by that. And then I got up and decided I would go downstairs. And instead of uh, using the elevator, I thought, well, I'm going to walk down the stairs. And so I did. And I got to the kitchen. And I went back, and I found a pot of coffee there and uh, some styrofoam cups. And so I began pouring myself some coffee. Well, in the kitchen was the cook, and of course, and the prisoners who were there who helped. And I know a while, one of the prisoners came running toward me, and he says, oh, don't do that, don't do that. I thought, oh, my goodness, I've made a mistake my first day on the job. And uh, he says, oh, he says, the first lady doesn't drink coffee out of a paper cup. I said, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> and so he goes back and brings me a Linux cup, which, of course, has a flared top that cools the coffee very quickly. And I said, oh, I don't think so. I said, how about a mug? And he said, oh, oh, that's fine. So after that, he always had a mug out there for me. But that was my first day there. And I, I will always remember that because of that, uh, that, that, the coffee problem I had. Being there at the mansion, there's so much opportunity. You have a stage where you can do so many things that you might not ordinarily be able to do. And I wanted to do some things that uh, would bring the house and history alive. And I decided I would uh, take on the project of, of children. Uh, that was something I knew something about. And, uh, and so we did some things for children. Uh, we had the uh, uh, Disney Arts Festival uh, for three years. And uh, three-day festival, and children came from the urban areas and from the rural areas. And uh, it was just a delightful, like, hands-on experience for children. And uh, then, of course, we had the, uh, uh, the spooktacular at uh, Halloween, and we provided a safe uh, and, uh, and a really a good time for kids at Halloween, and they enjoyed that. And, of course, we enjoyed it a lot, too, because we got all dressed up in costumes. And uh, we had a children's hour on Saturday where kids came, and, uh, and sometimes we would teach them etiquette and uh, things that they, uh, that, that they might be interested in. And so we enjoyed doing some of those things for children. And uh, so that was sort of the, uh, the, the primary focus of, um, of, of my work while I was there. I remember f noticing it, that there was a, just a, a ring, a metal ring out in front of the yard that was filled in with dirt. And I inquired about it and found uh, that it had once, there had once been a fountain there back in the 1900s. And it had fallen over and they'd taken it away. And then they had turned the base of it into a, to a flower garden. And so it occurred to me that it might be a good idea to put that back. And I had to go, of course, to raise the money to, to be able to do that. And so I set out, out to do that, and we were able to raise the money. And uh, I decided that I would make it a fountain that was dedicated to children. That was one of the uh, great experiences to be able to, to write a book, uh, especially the one that I wrote about the, uh, the families the, that uh, lived there. I have a copy of it here. It was called uh, If Walls Could Talk. And it features the, uh, the families, each of the families, uh, the husband, the wife, uh, and what they did before they came to the mansion and what they did while they were there and then afterwards as well. And it has lots of pictures in there uh, of, of what they did. I think it is important that we realize uh, that we have a very unique uh, his, uh, piece of history there and uh, that we preserve it and that each family lives there realizes that they need to do part of that. You just can't consume the resource. You have to do something to give back. And uh, so if each family feels as though they uh, are leaving it better than they found it, I think that would be a good, good attitude to have when you live there. I'm doing some uh, writing and uh, speaking and blogging and all the things I enjoy doing most. Um, but uh, getting to be a grandmother full time is something I'm enjoying too. I have a new little granddaughter here. Thank you. Here is. Here is Harper Carnahan. She's Tom and Lisa's little girl, and she is just six months old. <laughs> I think the, having the opportunity to live there and to do some things that I would not ordinarily have been able to do. Uh, where else could I have done so many things for children? Uh, where else could I have had the opportunity to write a book uh, about such a, an exciting thing? And, and so it offered me so many opportunities that I would not have had in any other way. And, uh, of course, being there with uh, uh, my family, I, I realized that the mansion offered me some of the happiest times of my life, and it offered me also the saddest. And so I had a lot of mixed memories as a result of living there.